I'll start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and to the Akim out here that's pushing this word. This is the brother Yakalim from the GMS Boston camp, and out of Juan Rataza. This video is some um, edifying, and um, you know, it's a faith builder to show that these damn devils know what's going on. Now, what you see, this is from a game called Detroit Human. And a brief thing with the game is it's about androids coming into awareness and they're tired of being slaves and they want to be set free. But it's twofold because that's what's going on with Jake right now. You know, we, we were brought here to serve out captivity and now we're being awoken and how the androids get awoken is, you know, once that dude touches them, it's like the light goes through them and they're aware and he'll tell them you don't have to serve them no more. Or they're no longer your masters. So I'm going to bring out a couple of precepts. Go through the images just to show you how, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, what he does in his predictive programming from his music to his movies and even his video games. And this is more like an interactive movie. But, you know, what you're seeing in this image, once again, this is from Detroit Human. You can buy androids to help with your daily life. And right now you're playing as an android. And it's no coincidence that they use that famous actor. I forgot his name, um, Jesse, when he spoke out at the award show against police brutality and, and how, you know, Jake being the so-called Negroes and so-called Latins and so-called Native Americans, but mainly the so-called Negroes, how they're being murdered by these damn devils. And he spoke out against it back in Colin Kaepernick. So it's no... You know, it's no coincidence that they made him the main character. So what he's doing right now is he's going to buy some paint for his master. And um, when you come to this scene, there's a black, so-called black pastor out there. He's preaching about how man is trying to be God. And it says right here in the bottom, we are playing God by creating machines, but we are not God. And it made me think of um, the book of Isaiah 14 and 13, where it says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And that's talking about these damn devils, these damn Edomites. If you look at this whole society, that's them wanting to be like God. Bad enough they painted their image and their likeness, you know, who the world ignorantly calls God. He isn't a so-called white man. Neither is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus isn't a so-called white man, you know, and these devils, you know, when they said they extended, you know, they, they have their space stations out there, you know, um, their whole rulership, them wanting to be like gods. And what's the ultimate goal? Them sticking that RIFD chip in us, which is the mark of the beast that the Bible talks about. And in this game, we'll show you how it's in the forehead. And it's also in the right hand. And, and that's what they want to do. They want to be like God. They want to monitor us. They want to control us. If we don't obey, they can turn off that chip and kill you. But that stuck out because this is what this dude was saying. And it made me think of also us brothers, how we're on the highways and byways, prophets in the wickedness of this kingdom. It's no coincidence that they use a Jake, even though they got him in a typical pastor pork chop look. They have him out there prophesizing how it's wicked what they're doing and this place is going to be destroyed. Like I said, this game is twofold. And um, this is an image right here, and it's two photos. And this image in the game, as you can see on the painting, it says make a selection in order. And that grid right there, the character sticks his right hand up there to complete the order. But in this scene, as you can see when you hit X and pay, he looks at the other person and he pays through that device that was implanted in the side of his head. And that brings out Revelations 13 and 16, where it says, And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Once again, in that scene, he's using his right hand to put it up there. And then right here, it's the mark in the forehead. And as you can see, pay, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's why I said, you know, these damn devils use these games in these movies as predictive programming because this is the ultimate goal. This is what's going to happen. I don't want my desire. The Lord keeps the spirit on us and our law is not to take that mark that he wants these so-called white people, these devils. They want everybody 
to be chipped so that they can monitor them. And once again, going into Isaiah, be like God. And that's why the scripture says, um, you know, those who take the mark of the beast, listen, man, they're going to be destroyed by those ICBM missiles, you know, which is that lake of fire that the Bible speaks of. And then, you know, there's other images. And that's why I said this is twofold, because the androids are forced to ride the back of the bus. And it made me think of, of course, Jake, you know, during the, um, I believe it was the, the 60s or maybe but I'm for that back in the day when um, Jake they could only ride in the back of the bus, so they couldn't, um, you know, the androids aren't allowed in bars. The same thing where, you know, blacks couldn't sit in the front. They had to go in the back of restaurants. They had to eat in the back. Some of them couldn't even eat in the back. They could just order foods, you know, during the segregation days. That's why I say, you know, once again, this game is twofold. You know, you got to look at the androids as they're, they're, uh, they're um, Jake. And, you know, as you see, this is Detroit. The game takes place in Detroit and shit. Detroit does look like this. You know, this whole country is to shit right now. Jobs is low. Fucking people are struggling. Everything's going to shit. And even in this image next to that dude's house, you can see that they're building. And it made me think of Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And that's that continuing building. Like, listen, we're going to be here forever. So we're going to build up this greatness. And even in the game, you know, um, after you beat it, you know, the president does say that. She says, you know, we have to come into acceptance that these people are superior than us and we must live with them. But little do they know, you know, we're superior to these damn Edomites and these other nations. But we ain't going to rule together. We're going to rule over them and we're going to rule righteously. But, you know, like I said in this image, if you go to your local city, you know, I live in Boston. Other brothers, you know, who live in New York and even if it's Cali, these other cities, you see these damn devils are continuously building, building, building up their cities, getting ready for gentrification because only they could afford these places. But that's going into these, you know, these 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 uh, race wars that's going to pop off. And then, um, you know, this is another image. You know, the android was in the house and um, she 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 scanned his dishwasher and realized it was missing a part. And she ordered it right from the chip right there that was implanted in her um thing. And then if you look at this uh news picture, it's even showing you see another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor. Listen, man, that this game came out last year. But it's so close to what's going on, because, you know, not only do these movie directors get their ideas from the scriptures, so does these video game directors and, you know, just so many different things. These are songwriters, but this is what America is coming to. It's, 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 it's about to halt. You know, the grinding is about to cease if you can see the jobs and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, even in this news picture. You know, there goes that predictive program, U.S. Russia tensions escalate in Arctic. And that made me think of um, Matthew 24 and 7, where it says, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. You know? And this mirrors what's going on right now with us. You know, U.S. and Russia are in um, war talk right now. Well, <laughs> really, you know, once you sink a U.S. ship or drone, you know, according to Iran and U.S. against Kam Kamri. We already at war. It just ain't pop off on a major screen scam, um, um, a major, major scheme scale of things. So lock your brothers. But we are at war right now. World War Three has started. And, you know, that's beautiful because it says all these are the beginning of sorrows. And when you go back into Matthew and it says famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, you know, Cali just had those back to back earthquakes, 7.1. And even in this game, it says that China was hit by a disaster. China just recently had that tornado that was running rampant through there. So, so listen, brothers, man, this, you know, these, these prophecies are being fulfilled, you know, and that's why it's just. You know, we, we say it's a beautiful time to be alive, but it's also me speaking as a man. We just pray that, you know, we're part of that number, that 144,000 that the Lord has, um, that he has mercy on us. And some other things in the game like this, how they're talking about the biometrics, what's going on in China. When the android walked in the bar, he was just looking at people. You had to look at their face and then you could scan them and see who you needed to find. And as you see, it tells when they was born, you know, their criminal record. And these were humans. 
So, you know, these humans, you know, with the whole biometric system, that means they had to register themselves in order to be found. And that's what they're talking about with the driver license, the real ID, you having to scan your eye. That's nothing more but for the biometrics because you got to wonder, well, if someone doesn't take the mark, well, the mark is coming. So is the biometrics. But how would they have that information on people prior would be that whole real ID that they're trying to make mandatory, I believe, by 2020. And hopefully we ain't around for that, you know. And another thing in this game was, you know, if you got androids, of course, you know, Esau, this is on the magazine cover. Android sex is officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. And that's going into, come on, man, you got these sex dolls. You know, they got androids right now that they're talking about working on sex. And that, and that made me think of Romans 1 and 24, where it says, Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to unclean to uncleansiness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever. Amen. And going back up to 24, where it says, you know, the lust of their own hearts. And that's, you know, and that's these men lying with these androids or, or, or men lying with other men androids. And there's another image later on with females lying with female androids. You know, and, and the reason why it's so scriptural, because in this game, they make it seem like, you know, free will. We're doing this. But we know in the real world that the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. Man's coming and going is of the Lord, according to the book of Proverbs 20 and 24. So if someone's like that, like all these gays and homos and lesbians, the Lord has that. The Lord put that demon on them. The Lord gave them up to that. And, you know, going down to 25, where it says, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creator. That's what the people on this side do. They worship the creature, but not the creator. You got people out here worshiping the so-called white man, his power structure. And the same way with the game, you got these people worshiping these androids and stuff like that. When really, you know, there's a creator in that game because they briefly mention it. But these androids are like, we're, we're much more better than our creator. And that's when you think about the people even on this side, you know, the people that are going to be destroyed. They think that they're better than who the world ignorantly really calls God because the Christian church teaches that God is all loving, but he's not. So people think, oh, yeah, well, we got the emotions to be sad, to be happy. Satan re revolted against the Lord and was cast out of heaven. So what better? The Lord, you know, once we bit the fruit and, and we were like God's you know, that means we would see that all that 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 Christian doctrine that the, all those false doctrines, they got people thinking and it even shows you in this game that they're better than the creator when that's not the case. Listen, man, this is some serious stuff, man. And to go back into Romans, it says for this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections for even their woman did change the natural use into which against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. You know, and that's also going into this with the androids. A man, I want some real pussy. Even though in this society, speaking as a man, it's better to fuck with a sex doll. I, 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 I say that not to cause a stumbling block or be confusing because our women are so defiled. Women are so wicked. It's like on this side, it's like it's just off. Like sometimes uh, 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 just 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 like rubbing one out. It's just better than even dealing with women. You don't have to deal with that headache. You don't have to deal with, you know, woman lying, saying she don't got a man and she has a man. And, you know, that's just me speaking as a man, just saying in that term, you know, that's why we're, 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 we're looking forward you know, we're, we're, we're yearning and doing the work for that new Jerusalem, that new kingdom to everything to be in order. But going back into, you know, the, the natural use, even in our world, in our real society, you got these homosexuals. They rather not deal with a woman. They'll rather go deal with another man. And that's off. And that's and that's and that's an abomination. That's death unto the Lord. You really got it. That's a demon. If the Lord, the Lord put that reprobate mind on you, that's listen, man, like the scripture says, Burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working out which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Because that's not convenient. Another man with another listen man or another woman with another woman, that's death right there. That doesn't promote life. And the same with these androids. You know, it says right here, android sex officially better. You know, it's promoting that, you know, this, you know, it's, 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 that's why I said it's predictive program because those Android sex dolls, 
they're already out, especially in Japan, but they're going to try to make them big. Like, listen, why deal with a woman when you can get your own personal Android? And um, to finish off Romans 1, it says, um, excuse me, Salakia down to verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, malice, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. Um, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, and really, this is talking about these do these, 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 these heathens, but not just these heathens, but these so-called white people, these biblical Edomites, they fit the characteristics of what is being read right now. Backbiters, haters of Yahweh, especially with this nation, supposedly one nation divided, you know, not divided, but one nation under who the world intimately calls God, when they're contrary to the scriptures, and it says, proud boasters, that's these Edomites, proud. Inventors of evil things, being this android sex officially better, these android dolls so that a man can fulfill his other lusts with a man. But, it, you know, even though it's an android, they figure, well, it's not a real man. It still doesn't matter. It's still off. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, impeccable and unmerciful. And to end that off, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that, that do them. All this is worthy of death. And they're going to be put to death when that time comes. And that's why I said this game with the predictive programming, they're trying to promote this. That's why the scripture says, well, one to them that, you know, has made evil good and turned good evil. You know, this is evil, you know. And um, another image is um, this. Tech addict is your android spying on you. And yes, they are. So you got to understand when they say androids. In this game, they're talking about, like, artificial intelligence when it comes to it being stored into a full-functioning body that looks like a human. But that's going on right now. Notice our phones. They're called Androids. Notice Alexa. Notice Google Home. You know, they had that video of the guy saying, Alexa, are you connected to the CIA? And it automatically cut off. So they're letting you know right here. Facebook is spying on you. Instagram, all these apps. That's why when you download an app, it says, can we have access to your mic? And your files, like, why do you need access to that? And all I want to do is just fucking, just, 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 just play a stupid ass, um, um, I'm fucking baseball game on an Android. Why do you need access to that? Why? Because it's going into spying. So this is already going on. You know, people play this game and they think, you know, these Androids is bad. But what do you think Alexa and all these, all these devices and your Comcast now that they got the voice remote? It's not to make things easier, even though Americans are some lazy motherfuckers, excuse my French, it's because they want to spy on everything you're saying on Xbox Live being on, the freaking video game, your phone, and it made me think of 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, and this is one of his devices, you know, that's why the scripture says use the world but don't abuse the world, you know, we got our phones, we do our research, we make our calls, but having all that... Alexa in the crib and all of that. Listen, man, you just tap and then you just making it easier for Esau. You know, even me being an electrician, they got these new brilliant switches, which have a screen on them and they cost some money. But the whole purpose is, quote unquote, each room got a screen so you could turn it on and video call the next person. But what that means is all this putting a mic in everybody's room, a screen in everybody's room so they could turn it on. Probably watch you see what they have to see because I seen that on CSI. They were trying to find a guy and he turned on his webcam and it showed the background of a building. And not only that, um, Mark Zimmerberg, whatever his name is, who runs Facebook, he keeps his laptop camera taped and so did Snowden. He used to keep his camera taped because he revealed that the CIA was using these devices to spy on people. That's why I said the American people, you know, they're in that gross darkness. They're there. They're fucking sheep. That's why we thank, you know, the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, for waking us up to this truth, man, you know, because all these are part of Satan's devices, you know, and in this photo, you know, it's significant because, you know, of course, it's a Jake android, but he says something. He says, my people have been enslaved and now it's our time to be rulers. And that made me think of Ecclesiasticus 10 and 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking servants up upon the earth. Because, you know, that's a beautiful scripture because that's the time that we're looking in right now. We're about to become Jake. You know, the 144,000 of um the 12 tribes of the so-called natives, Negroes, and Latins. I don't want to where those men. That's why we say that we're going to be the righteous rulers. You know, we, 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 
we, we've been servants, you know, us, our forefathers, you know, serving out our captivity. And it made me also think of Second Ezra 6 and 19, for it says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that falls. Because even in this game, so-called white people run shit. The so-called white man was a creator of the androids, you know. They own um, all the skyscrapers, the um, buildings. And it also made me think of um, Revelation 13 and, 19, 13 and 9, where it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Because at this point in the game, once he says that, that's when they ask you to make the decision. Do you want to do stuff peacefully to fight for your rights? Or do you want to do stuff violently? And with these people, these so-called white people, we can't be peacefully. Look what happened to Martin Luther King. And even when we tried to do Malcolm X's way, Malcolm X wasn't coming in that name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. That's why his whole thing was for naught. You know? But this image, you know, like I said, stood up because this is what we're waiting. Look, listen, man. Judah is being roused up. They, they about to have enough. Like the man said in this, man, we've been slaves for too long. Now it's time for our people to rule, you know, and going into our people at this point in the game, the main character, he goes around touching androids, waking them up. Like I said earlier, that made me think of Isaiah 16 and one arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness, the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And, you know, when these robots were waking up, Salakia, like I said earlier, he 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 would say, listen, you know, they're no longer your masters. You don't no longer have to serve them. And they were waking up and they were ready to be, you know, they were following him. You know, they were looking for the freedom. They were looking for their equal rights. And they said, listen, if we got to die for it, we have to die for it. So they were willing to do all of that in the game, you know, and that's what we're willing to do, you know. The Lord keeps that Maccabean spirit on us, so the spirit of our forefathers who were, who are, who are, who are with him. Once again, out around this other part of the luck that we're willing to die for this truth, you know. And um, the other image, you know, you see in this, they got the article of the robotic children, you know, the three laws of parenting. And notice in this right here, it says the UN warns of World War Three. I'm gonna get back on that. And President Warren at 33 approved. It made me think of Elizabeth Warren. For some reason, but hopefully we don't live that long to see, you know, hopefully Trump or his next election. That's it. But once again, no man knows the time. But as you can see in this image, they show the E to my family because that's spiritual. Listen, man, they're, they're, you know, Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made these smaller when the heathen thou art greatly despised. It's no coincidence that right now these damn Edomites, they have the lowest birth rate. Why? Because the, the curses are falling upon them. All them snares and traps. You know, with Planned Parenthood and all of that. And their own woman don't even want to have children with them. It's no coincidence that it's an Edomite family. And they're talking about the three laws of robotic parenting. You know, just it's better to give. It's better to get a robot child than to actually have one. Because these devils don't want to have children anyways. If you look at their woman, they're worrying about their careers. And so are they men. They don't want to have children, you know. And they don't even really know how to take children. Notice, take care of children. Notice they always got nannies. Or, or or if you look at the other aspect, you know, during the slave days, it was the Jake woman who was really nursing them, giving them their uh, nutrients and stuff like that. You know, they're useless. And another image they had on here was um, the first immortals are among us. And, you know, that stuck out because, yeah, there is immortals among us right, right now, according to Psalms 82 and 6. The Lord said, I, I have said ye are... Gods and all of you are children of the most high, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. And that's going into the Lord's elect. You know, they are gods, man. You know, well, I'm going to be righteous rulers with Yahweh Shai, but we're going to die like men. Once again, we always have to say Lord willing, which is in the Hebrew, Adawan, Lord, and willing, Ratazah, that we're part of that, that we're part of that number. You know, because the scripture said, ye shall be, ye. Ye, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O power, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all the nations. And that's going into us, like I said, once again, being a righteous rulers. You know, they had another article in this game talking about the next superpowers, and it was Russia and China. No, the next superpowers is Yasharala, Israel. 
the true children of Israel, Yahweh Shai and his elect. You know, we're going to be the righteous rulers, 12,000, you know, from um from um each tribe. You know, listen, man, this is, you know, you know, you know, you know, like I said, if you got a PlayStation, this game is free. It's called Detroit Human. It's dope. If you got some some free time, if you like watching movies in your free time, you know, when you take that break. You know, when you have that balance, definitely check this out. It's like an interactive movie, but it's very spiritual, you know. And um, this other image, see, this was the two androids. They were lesbian lovers. It says, I wanted her. I wanted her to hold me in the arms again. And I shot that bitch. <laughs> Sorry to say it like that. She went to charge me in the game and I killed her. And the other one was crying. Oh, well. Because according to Leviticus 20 and 13, it says, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Like, come on. It's just like how, what I read earlier in um in the book of um in the book of Romans, how the Lord gave them over to a reprobate mind and you know, things that weren't um things that weren't normal. You know, things, you know, having an affection, a man for a man and a woman for a woman. This is a perfect example. And when you look at the game twofold, this is the creation in the game doing this. So look at us. The Lord created us. But what they don't understand is, you know, the Lord creates good and evil. Like the scripture says, but Christian doctrine would think like this is all free will. This is genes. These people are born like this. No, they aren't born like that. The Lord made them like that. Let's get that correct. You know, and going past that image. Here's an image of a newspaper. Who would win it? World War Three. And it shows you bonus culture. Why bankers pay themselves so much. And that's what's going on right now. These damn elite bankers, you know, they out here giving tax breaks to each other, paying each other, collecting all the gold in the world. But that's all for not. They're just kind of collecting the gold for Yasharala. But the point being is World War Three. It's promoted and everything because they know what's going to come because that's going to be the ultimate war where, you know, these, these, these. These, these people get destroyed. And that's even in Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You know? And that's going into, listen, man. That's letting you know that part of the prophecy. Once that World War III, we're hearing of wars right now, even in the real world of, you know, like I said, Russia in the U.S., Iran in the U.S., North Korea, you know, um... Venezuela, us trying to get into Venezuela, that's the World War Three, and the Lord says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, meaning we're going to go through some shit, like Revelations 11 and 14, the second war was passed, and behold, the third war will come up quickly, because the second world war was during the 40s, you know, and that's not too, that's not too long ago, there's still people who are alive that served in that war, but this, 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 this third war is, is coming, like I said earlier, it's here and it's going to be them that that dragon you know versus Yahweh Shai and his angels as the scriptures say Michael and his angels you know because the Lord's going to let his angels act up and do their thing he's going to put the spirit on them but World War 3 is coming and they know it's just that predictive programming and then in this photo um the newscaster says hospitals and schools are closing Water cuts, blackouts, and network phase are expected. This is once the androids start waking up. And it made me think about Jake. Once Jake starts waking up, you know, they started leaving the jobs and stuff. America was seasoned. And it made me think of Isaiah 14 and 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressed seas the golden city seas? Because once these androids started waking up, everything stopped. And they also said two-thirds of the military Halted, so the military was shorted, and when 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 you look at the real world, you got these damn you got Jake serving in this damn so-called white man's war when they don't give a fuck about them in their own country. But once again, the Lord got them in that. That's the Lord's will to have them doing that. You know, and that's gonna come. Everything is gonna cease. That's why they say Judah's getting roused up. Judah's gonna get tired of getting slayed in the streets, tired of getting murdered, tired of getting the shitted in the stick. Tired of these jobs, these unrighteous decrees, these bills, this child support, all this wickedness that, listen, man, America, listen, what's that saying? If everybody stood up as far as Jake, America would cease. It wouldn't know how to function. It made me even think about when them Issachar dudes, they stood together on the job and they stopped working. That whole job was shut down, you know? And then you get to the point in the game where, 
they find out where the androids are hiding and, you know, the damn U.S. soldiers, they, you know, they come like a flood. And as you can see, you see the dead bodies, you see them coming through. And it made me think of Second Ezra 16 and 70, for there should be in every city and place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Like I said, I played this game thinking about Jake, you know, those who fear the Lord, you know, having to go into hiding, like the scripture says, being pilgrims amongst the earth. You know, these two right here, they actually gave me the option. I chose to play dead. You know, and um, it says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out their houses. They slaughtered everything that was moving. They didn't ask questions. Even if you was human, you was getting caught with the um, you was getting caught with the rounds, basically. You know, so like I said, you know, this game is very spiritual. It has a spiritual undertone because these devils know, man. That's where they get this stuff from, and um. This was where they created the androids. And if you look, it looks just like the Tower of Babel. And this looks like the, the, the Sacrum Bridge or what they call it. And you can find these bridges everywhere. You know, it's the bridge in Boston. It's no coincidence that they make these same designs, the same architect. But this looks like the Tower of Babel, um, Tower of Babel, you know. And it also looks like those um, obsoletes, which is supposed to be a representation of Nimrod's penis you know you see those everywhere they got one here in boston the bunker hill they got one down in washington dc so you know like i said man these these fucking devils know because you know they created these androids trying to be god and it's no coincidence that would make the place look like the tower of babel you know and um in this image with the flag this is when the androids finally stand up and they fight and the first thing that came to mind was second ezra's 15 and 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And in this game, it's the androids versus the humans. But for us, it's going to be the same thing going into those race wars. It's going to be Jake against these so-called Edomites. There's no coincidence why these Edomites are moving back into Jake neighborhoods. It's not just for gentrification. Once again, the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. Man's coming and going is of the Lord. The Lord has them moving here for a reason. Because he's getting them ready. For them race wars. And he's going to destroy them. So lock your brothers had a word on my window. And going back in the second Ezra 15. It says for there shall be sedition. No for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up against and fight against another. And swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition. Amongst men. And invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. In course of their actions. And shall stand in their power. And that's going into them standing up. Us uh, standing up in this game, they imposed martial law, curfew. They didn't care the same way we won't care. All those laws, oh, there's going to be martial law staying in the house. When people get hungry and they get fed up, they're going to disregard the laws of the kings. And it said a man show desire to go into the city. And that made me think of this image when the androids trying to escape. But you got the border patrol. And that's what's going on in Mexico right now at the Mexico border. As you can see in this image, you see border patrol. The U.S. Army, you know, you can see they, they brought out their best tech, you know, but that made me think of, you know, um, for um, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And this is a prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled yet. And it's going to happen. That's why we say, the Lord keeps us covered because that was of his promise. The Lord said he's going to keep his elect. He's going to protect his elect. You know, brothers is part of that number. And, um, you know, the last photo right here is at the end of the game when the androids succeed. And you see the multitude standing there. And, um... You know, fuck the flag, but the image, but you see the main character and he's saying they must grant us our civil rights. But what this made me think of was in second Ezra 2 and 42, when Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion, a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, you know, um, taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which i marveled at greatly so i asked the angel and said sir what are these he answered and said unto me 
These be thy that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. And I don't want to this up where those men, you know, because we're in the most wickedest time. You know, we're in a place that spiritually um, Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt, spiritually Babylon. You know, that's why they call this Bab Virgin Babylon, you know, in a world, in a time where you can be whatever you want and do whatever you want. You know, we're still choosing to worship Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And once again, Adoran, it's not up to us. Adoran went to Zer with those men because the Lord knew us in the belly when he formed me, according to scripture. And it says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is that that, that crowneth them and give them psalms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Going into who they have confessed in the world. Confessing that name, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, not that name, God or Jesus. And it says, they began, I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. And this prophecy hasn't come, you know, and that's a beautiful precept. You know, I love the second book of Ezra, but that's what made me think about that. That being the end of the game. Notice they're all in white. Then you got him standing there. You know, and they was treating him like a savior, savior of the people. You know, we will follow you unto the end. We will follow you unto the death. And that's how we have to be. You know, the Lord says, take up your cross and follow me. You know, the Lord said, the servant's not greater than the master. You know, even the book of Matthew, all the chapters are beautiful. And the book of Matthew goes right into it with Yahweh Shai speaking. Listen, man, you know, we're, we're, you know, it's just that spirit. You know, and this is some ending images from the game. This is the FEMA camps. That they have set up. And this is going to happen. You know, the FEMA camps. That's what, you know, that's what they got now going on in those uh, uh, quote-unquote abandoned Walmarts that had the plumbing problems. So this game is showing you what's to come. During Jacob's trouble, there's going to be those those FEMA camps telling people, come here. If you look around your cities, they got the um, FEMA signs um, to follow them for an emergency. But all it is is just following in the one big circle. And then another image is, you know. Once again, the FEMA camps again. You got the people in prison with the soldiers around. And then this one, this is a, this this would have been a beautiful image of the sedition amongst men. You got the soldiers fighting the androids. You know, they're having a war, you know. So out of Juan Rathazar, I hope this video, you know, it was edifying. You know, it was a faith builder because, you know, prophecy is, is, is fulfilling. You know, uh, 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 you know, these scriptures are being put in everywhere for movies to our games and it's always the same outcome those that were oppressed those that were slaves they always overcome and that's why we say out of our is over part of that number of 144,000 elect men so i want to give all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim kadash that were honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone to the akim out here that's been pushing this truth you know till next time yasharala shalom